Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'd like to specify this series to working on COVID-19 in certain different layers. So I'll address this question, how to work on COVID-19 specifically using Python and certain other software packages. So the specific question is how scientists work on COVID-19. And I read certain papers on the bioinformatics behind working on COVID-19. I'm not going to address virology of COVID-19, the immunology or cellular genetics, cytogenetics or whatever is related to the virus in terms of biology. I'm just going to address the bioinformatics part of working with COVID-19. So this paper, I came across this one actually, and it was quite interesting for me that they worked on the spike protein of the coronavirus and how it interacts with certain receptors on certain cells. So they did this based on certain predictions using certain software packets. So if you are interested in reading this paper, try going through the paper using this DOI, it's available. And what they really did was they followed certain approach to reach this prediction and conclusion. At the end what they concluded was that this site on the receptor can be used as a drug target. So we'll start doing the same thing. I take no credit of what I'm going to show you here. It's just that I'm going to mimic what they did. So the methodology that they used was to follow certain steps. The first step was alignment, but the alignment strategy that they used was structure-based alignment. And that kind of alignment is an alignment of a group of DNA sequences based on 3D structure model of a crystallography that available on PDB. The next step was structure model. So they modeled the spike protein structure of COVID-19 based on SARS-CoV-2. So I'm going to address this in a bit more detail in the next coming videos. Finally, they docked the spike protein with the receptor proteins and certain other proteins called PEP42, which I'm going to address later on in the other tutorials. So the PDB has an ID, that's a database. It takes IDs so that you parse protein structures. Then from the protein structures you see modules and in those modules you can take out chains and from the chains you'd see beta sheets and alpha helices and from those you can take out very useful information about the peptide chains down to atom level. So we'll be doing the same steps and we are going to use Python, BioPython, PyMol, maybe Mega and ClusterLex as well as some servers and some other software packages. So one of those packages is called Hex, another one we may use is called Autodoc Vena and finally we'll use ESPrit which is a server-based web application to do the structure-based alignment. So we are going to address alignment in the very beginning using Python's BioPython library. We'll do alignment of 3D structures in PyMol so I'm going to have certain videos on using PyMol then doing alignments and superimposition as well as certain things related to protein structure binding affinity and finally we'll do alignment based on 3D structures so that we understand what's going on and how this is done in research scale. So what they reached in their analyses was that they identified three regions in the spike protein and in those three regions they found certain places where it is possible binding site to PET42 protein and this enables the binding of the spike protein to the hot cell receptors. So we'll talk about the receptor that they addressed in their publication and how to facilitate this kind of alignment and then hence the cell facilitates the entry or 
which secures the entry of the virus into the cell. And then they assessed the binding affinity uh, and analyzed it using Haddock server. We can use that one or a an offline server, an offline software like uh, Autodoc Vina or Hex. So why do I say or? Because Autodoc Vina is basically used for binding ligands to proteins and it's very rare to use to bind large proteins to another large protein. So protein-protein interaction is not very useful in Autodoc Vina. However, you can do protein-protein interaction studies using HEX and it is based on kind of artificial intelligence called genetic algorithms and I'll talk about the heuristics behind it later on. So I hope you'll enjoy this series and learn something about doing the bioinformatics studies on COVID-19.